chat members, welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core. It released today, and I figured I would, um, I would have another go at it, because now I'm allowed to actually play a little bit more of it. Are we finishing the fantasy? I don't know. And the reason I don't know is because, again, I have finished this game twice in the past. The war is over. Everyone's real happy. As for me... But I love seeing chat's reaction to this game. I love it. You're a little more important than my sword. But just a little. Well, Goat Simulator was only three streams. This would be more than three. Zach here. Me, Gangaga. a while, Zach. Sephiroth. <laughs> Come to Lazard's room. Good line, Reed. All right. But yeah, I got a, a bomber jacket from Square. I, if you joined during Goat Simulator, you heard the story. They sent me... I swear to God, this is what they sent me. A bomber jacket that says Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core on the back. How embarrassing. Uh, they also sent me a steel book without a game in it, which again, it's cool looking. And I'm very appreciative of these things. Um, but then there's also a mystery box that says do not open until game is over, until the credits roll. And I haven't opened it. Zack is inside? Oh, he's just in there. Hey, Zack! So, the war is over. That it is! I'm sure you heard. I ruled. No, I didn't hear. The company reports don't mention you at all. On TV? They only talk about Sephiroth's bravery. But Sephiroth was in B-Unit! Well, our heroes are chosen by the media. Dreams... crushed. It's okay, just do some squats. Oh no, no. Chat that hasn't seen this game, or has never played a Final Fantasy, and they're watching this for the first time, I, their reactions are just tasty. As of this moment, you are promoted to soldier first class. Huh. I thought I'd be happier. <laughs> Understandable. Too much happened too fast. Zack, I'm afraid I need your assistance again. Are you pushing another assignment on me? How much do you think Square spends on leather foley? My apologies. Whatever. I'll fill you in, Zack. But before that, go to the briefing room and change into a first-class uniform. Wait until you see how cool the first-class uniform is, chat. Right? Look how different it is. <sighs> Hello, it's me, Director Gallagher. You, Zach. Gonna write some Oasis songs. In the flash. As soldier first class. You are now authorized to use Materia Fusion. Whoa! So what do I do? First, open the main menu. You should now be able to select Materia Fusion. Now, try fusing these two Materia. If you have any questions, just let me know. Okay. Um... Material created through fusion usually usually set at level one. Fire plus thunder equals blizzara. 
Okay, yeah, I, I got all of that just now, chat. I got all of it. Why, why is not it creating Blizzara? It's a typo? That wasn't a typo, was it? What about fire plus fire? Fire plus fire is fire. But it's plus three. It said fire and thunder. Fire and thunder is just creating blizzard. It's not... Cr <laughs> I mean, it's a plus two. It's an extra plus two. The main material needs to be plus two. Okay, okay. Oh. It said Fira plus... Oh, I see. I understand now. Alright, I'll just do what it says. That's dumb. I already have a thunder. Careful crab, I hope you're not spoiling what's in the box. Hey now, are you sure you know enough about Materia Fusion? Oh yeah, I got it. I understand it completely. Materia Fusion is still a new technology. Some combinations and results have not been tried or discovered yet. That's why we want you to experiment. And if you make a new discovery, let us know. That's a natural, very human movement from that Finished scientist. Training. Yeah, and I picked up Materia Fusion too. Then return to my office. I'll brief you on the mission. Yes, sir. Does Kunsil actually do anything? Genesis KIA, yeah, right. Who do they think they're trying to fool? Just got back from seeing the stage production of Loveless in Midgar. Genesis was a big fan, wasn't he? I usually don't care for classic drama, but it was pretty damn good. The guy's a hero in the original, but the play was more from the viewpoint of the girl who helps the guy. When I heard that last line, of course, I'll come back to you, even if you don't promise to wait. I'll return knowing that you'll be there. Ah, man, that's when I lost it and just started bawling. You know, Loveless is a reference to My Bloody Valentine. The training room. Hence, entry is strictly prohibited. It is off limits, even for you, Mr. Soldier. But I, being the coward that I am... What is this line read? ...muster the courage to enforce this prohibition. Thus, whether to enter or not will be up to you and your conscience. All right. All right. Naturally formed materia are extremely rare, but Mako stones are relatively easy to obtain. A Mako stone is crystallized material waveform lip made movement of concentrated Mako energy. It doesn't function as materia, but if we process it here, we can make it into materia. Soldier sometimes runs Mako stone excavation missions. Okay, new mission has been added. Again, to me, it's like almost bizarre that Final Fantasy VII Remake had such good voice acting almost all the way through. Like, really thought out, like, well cared for and detailed voice acting. The company has decided to eliminate Genesis and his cohorts. This includes Angeal as well. And you want me to do it? No. The Shinra army will handle it. What about me? They don't trust you. They believe yeah, your emotions will hamper your judgment. Well, of course. 
That's why I'm going too. To kill them? Seporote. Seporote? A chat member told me to shut up. <laughs> I mean, it was earned. Now I should shut up, probably. <laughs> Was it Assault Twister? I want to do Blizzard Blade. Um, maybe instead of Blizzard, we get Thunder, just so we have a nice variety. Yeah, 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 yeah. This dude, researcher Gallagher, just keeps showing up. Hurry up and deal with that. That? Oh, what is this? Activating combat mode. And let me figure out how to fucking play this game again. Yes. What was that? What? You don't know? That was an intruder neutralization mech. So why Wait, is this attacking a Skyrim voice actor? It just went berserk. For reasons unknown. There are others stationed, so deal with them. But I was ordered to go to the entrance. Stop! You violated the law! Well, actually, more oblivion. Is this combat like Final Fantasy VII Remake? Uh, a little bit. It's, let's put it this way, it's better than the I'm one coming. from the PSP version. Stay back. <laughs> Activating combat mode. Ah. Right there. Right. Are you gonna also start cheesing everything with an overpowered punch later on in the game? Isn't that the goblin punch, chat member? You're not with soldiers. I have vague right? memories of that punch. What are you doing here? Uh, well, Lucky the punch. Science department reserved the training room for the day. You get to go goblin mode. Doing some maintenance. Which is the the phrase of the year? I like how the word of the year, according to like the fucking dictionary, is goblin mode. Or either that, or I've been trolled, and it's two words. All right, you got me. I was slacking. Hey, can you keep this between us, please? Thank you. Please take this. 
for your trouble. Chat, they were gungagaing in the training room. Do you think that there's a pop star in this game's universe called Lady Gungaga? Map, 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 map. Poker face. Hey, you all right? <sighs> Behind you, huh? <sighs> Activating combat mode. Bring it on. Mind and body acting together. This happens, chat. This is just part of the game. Hey. So, what do you, you think? You get memories mid battle. Good, right? You're focusing just for the sake of it. Your true power hasn't been released. Yeah, it didn't feel quite the same as before. You need to learn to find the right zone in your mind. If you can't do that, you won't make first. Seriously? Bringing out the big guns. Well, you'll, let's use this overpowered Prove limit break on a tiny me. robot that's I not even that powerful. Ah, Titty Twister just leveled up. Thank you. I was close. Did that mech injure you? Yeah. Pathetic, right? A soldier member getting bested by that thing? Hey, even soldier members have their bad days. Well, this is actually one of my better days. Uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, really not that good at fighting. You're a soldier! Suck it up! If you're bad at something, train harder! I'm sorry. I'll be going now. For you. Zack, where are you? Oh, Director. I'm on the soldier floor. Head to the entrance ASAP. We've been massively compromised. Massively? All right, I'm on it. Good luck. Zack was told to train harder, so he tells other people to train harder. And as a result... They train harder. It's very simple, chat. It's very simple. That's how you power up. Why are Shinra weapons attacking the Shinra building? Is this Genesis is doing? Genesis is. Denesis is. What? Nintendo Denesis is. Denimus is. Rip, rip over the strenuses. Oh, den denizens of the citizens united front for the trenison. Good work, both of you. Trenison. Where is Zengil? He's gone missing. I'll explain later. Things will escalate. Be prepared. I like how we got a cutscene and we didn't even get the limit break. Damn, they're swarming us. Activating combat mode. Trying to remember how to like block. Didn't I have a limit break just now? Oh, and there it is. Is this the end? No, not if I can help it. Yes, we're just going to go outside real quick. From the Shinra Tower to the middle of a desert, just so we can drop some bombs on them. This is why chat members get so confused when I play this.
Is he having fun? I like it. Again, I've played this game already twice, all the way through. That should speak for itself. I think it's the best non-Final Fantasy VII Final Fantasy VII. It's not the highest budget game, but... It, it does what it does pretty well. I've read that it's critical. Something's wrong with me. chat. Something's fucking wrong with me. My brain needs a checkout. Okay. Oh no! I could use a limit break now. Oh, that's the guard button. Oh, these sweepers. Zack is inspired by people he hasn't even met yet. Truly. Intruders are Genesis copies. A little late. There's no doubt. This is Hollander's doing. Who is that? A Shinra scientist who stole the copy tech, then vanished. Are you saying that this Hollander and Genesis are working together? <laughs> Quite possibly. Do you know what they're planning? Hollander sought to head the science department and lost. He's borne a grudge against Shinra ever since. He wants revenge. So petty. And Genesis is supporting this stupid cause? I don't want to believe it. Well, then don't. Agreed. Now, Zack. Copies have been sighted in Sector 8 as well. Let's go. Welcome to Midgar. This is bad. <laughs> Look, Midgar looks nice. We should split up. Good call. Vinny, give me a name for my Rimworld colonist, Zack. Hold on, I'm a coming. What did he just say? That was like a Chris Pratt Mario line. Sector Eight is Turk's jurisdiction. Slick. I can't believe he said that like that. You it's gotta Hitman. be kidding me, Song. Do something. There's no need for concern. Huh? Okay. The other areas. Mick Car's just crawling with nasties. Soldiers having difficulties. Reno, rude. Just say the guy's word name is rude. Go. Yes, sir. <laughs> so now we're outsourcing to the Turks. Soldiers being stingy. There's a manpower shortage. Done. You're a Turk, too? I'm Cisne. I'm Zack. Pleasure to meet you. Zack, aren't you on assignment? <laughs> Same objective. Need some help here? I appreciate the offer. Oh, how generous. And there are people that well, say I've never so watched an anime. Zach, I gotta go. If you find him, detain him. Apparently the switch port of this runs like pretty well. That's always encouraging to hear, you know. 
Like, it's not just a dump-on-the-system job. Yeah, well, it's a PSP game, but I'll, I'll tell you what. Looks decent on the PC. Like, it's not as good as Final Fantasy VII Remake, but... It's a fairly clean-looking game. I, that's the best way to describe it. Clean! Reno and Rude. Reno and... Reno... Reno and... Okay. Okay. I'm a I know I'm accidentally going to use an elixir at some point. Complete resolve. Like, until I re like remember which buttons to press when, I'm going to accidentally use the wrong stuff. No, the name of the dude is Rude. Chat member, that is correct. Activating combat mode. See, I'm doing it again. Something crazy is happening with the slots. I'm not gonna use that against like a tiny robot. I can't hear you. But bad guys with big weapons came too. You maybe gave us time to escape. Please, mister. Yes, please. Can't hear a thing. You get extra sprite if you wear that. What fucking galaxy brain decided to add slots as a major I gameplay mechanic? It, weirdly enough, the slots do eventually, as I've described, do eventually kind of fit into the story a little bit in a way that I was surprised to see. Um... I think the slots are weird as fuck, and I don't understand the decision to this day. But it's not as bad as I th thought it would be when I first played the game. Oh yeah. Thanks, man. You saved me. Will you be doing all the missions? I don't even know if I'm going to be playing through the main game entirely. He's up ahead on this street. Stay clear if I were you. It is very distracting. Yes, it is. It is a pretty distracting mechanic because you have slots going at all times and then story elements. Um, there are people in chat saying it is ADHD simulator. But the box, I know, I know. How am I going to open the box unless I finish the game? Is that Goblin's Bar? Robertson's? Yo, when Goblin Brain rot, you go to Robertson. Genesis. No. They're copies. Activating combat mode. Gacked. Shit. Nice.
fuck. Activating combat mode. Game is very generous. Wait, are you saying I actually need to learn how to block and dodge? enemy is, is quaking in their diaper right now, after seeing Zack do that. You got a diaper for me, Douglas? Not today, Mr. Dink! Waiting for the chat confusion over this dude growing a single wing. When I was a kid, I always <laughs> wanted to have wings. You know, like an angel. Yeah. Uh huh. If people had wings, they'd be monsters. I, I love the story. Wings symbolize freedom for those who have none. They don't symbolize monsters. Oh. Hey, I just met you like five minutes ago, and now we're talking about this. First class. You've got skill. Oh, that's a weird thing to say after hearing that. Okay. Here, a little gift for helping me out. All right then. I'm off to the next job. You've got something too, right? Yeah, I do. Until we meet again. A little light rock in your ear. One sector eight is clear. Come to Mako Reactor Five. Did you find something now? Angeal has been sighted. <sighs> so it's search and destroy. The army is mobilizing, but there's still time. You and I will find them before they do. And and what? <laughs> Fail to eliminate them. For real? <laughs> yes, for real. Awesome! We're gonna fail. Chat, I promise you, this game wasn't generated by an AI, like the script. Some enemies are capable of using extremely powerful attacks. Some abilities even inflict status ailments, so make sure to guard against such abilities.
Looks like something from fucking Bayonetta. Is that Aunt Jill's face? Oh, right, I remember these enemies. <laughs> it appears Genesis isn't the only one who can be copied. The company training room. Hmm? We used to sneak in there for fun when the seconds were out. Genesis, and Jill, and I. You guys were pretty tight. Hmm. I wonder. Infinite in mystery. Amazing. Is the gift of the goddess. We Who in chat hasn't seen this game ever and, and just joined now? To the sky. Like today. Ripples form on the water's surface. The wandering soul Excellent. knows no rest. Loveless, Act One. <laughs> you remember? How can I not when you've beaten it into my head? Don't take Sephiroth lightly. <laughs> Dude has two swords because he doesn't want to get the other one dirty. So he's adding like an extra 90 pounds to his person. They're fighting on top of the Junin cannon. Again, I can just imagine people who have never played Final Fantasy VII being like, what do you mean giant gun town? Is that the best you can do? All hail Sephiroth. Huh? Angeal, stay back. I'll take Sephiroth alone. Genesis. The world needs a new hero. <laughs> Come and try. So smug. But for how long? <laughs> They're like damaging the gun. Shinra's gonna have to pay for repairs because they're leaving like craters and like they're they're like chopping up the gun. Someone said, "Why isn't Dante's hair white?" <laughs> Like he can just fly too. He can just fly too. No way to talk to a hero. <laughs> Why does anyone ever stay on the ground when you can do shit like this? Yeah, they're gonna have to repair the entire cannon. I remember that. Yeah, there you go. So the cannon we see in Final Fantasy VII is a complete like redo. I can't believe how much destruction they're causing on this fucking thing. Uh, they dropped the Sephiroth load early with the music. Through the power of anger, his sword can destroy other swords. Oh right, it was a hollow deck. That's right. I always forget about this. Just a scrape. I'll be fine. Don't worry. You're bleeding. Your own blood. 
Even if the morrow is barren of promises, nothing shall forestall my return. Right now I have to decipher what that means. Thanks. So, was everything all right? Yes. As far as Genesis was concerned. No, I think they can fly without the holodeck too. As for Angeal. If they get angry Angeal. enough. It's like Dragon Ball Z, I think. <laughs> Later, I received one of his famous lectures. About what? Always the same. Discipline, dreams, honor, etc. Haha. <laughs> one of those, huh? So it's true. They're in league with Hollander. How could this happen? You know what Hollander sounds like? Colander. And you know what you do with Colander? Spaghetti. And this game is dropping a lot of spaghetti all over the place, and I love it. What are you up to? Where are you? Chocobo mode, chat. Do you want to know how to go chocobo mode? This will show you. Wait, where is the chocobo mode thing? I saw it obtain chocobo feather. I got barrier. Reduces physical damage. Oh, let's see. Where, what am I doing? Oh. Murdered. I mean, conflict resolve. Would you say this is better than the older version minus Zack's voice? Yep, I would. Activating combat mode. And here are your must. Well, what the fuck do I do if I run out of magic? Conflict resolved. I guess that. Activating combat mode. Bring it on. Right there. Can you leave? Can you can you leave? Just go. Just go. Just go. Someone said, I hate the trend of redubbing perfectly good dubs in the f um, for no reason. I think there was a reason, maybe the sound... Okay, I... I don't know if they have the original recordings 
so that they can have them be the highest level of quality. Because I think they had to shrink them down a little bit for the PSP, but that and they recast all of Final Fantasy VII, chat. So there is that. I think they wanted to keep it consistent with their new voice actors. Um, but knowing Square, yeah, they might have deleted the original recordings. <laughs> because, remember, the backgrounds for Final Fantasy IX, VIII, and VII are just mysteriously gone. Like all the, the you know, original highest quality versions, only the compressed versions remain. I would love one if, like, one day... You remember the Nintendo Giga Leak? How great would it be if one day Square actually, like, some, some like, intern found the files? Rick Gomez VA is in some cutscene dialogue later on because they forgot to redub it. Are you serious, chat member? I don't believe you. Apparently, it's real. Wow. Activating combat mode. Warm up's over. Prove your honor to me. I got it. Did Square include the scene where Zack finds Genesis's bad girl-scented Polaroid photograph of Sephiroth bent over in black, spiked stilettos, lace panties with coconut oil lathered ass facing the camera, and hot, white candle wax dripping right down to his taint? My chat member in Christ, I believe that was a Markiplier OnlyFans photo. I think you got it wrong. Your honor to me. I got it. Vinny, how do you know about that? It's for charity. It's for charity. Oh, I just got an update for Fall Guys. Seasons Yeetings. Please no. Why did I read that? I don't know. Because I read it very quickly in my brain and I saw taint. And I was like, oh, I have to read the rest of this. The door isn't receiving power. The source is... Zach. Open the valve on the lowest level. That Okay. That shit would open. I think he was gonna say that shit will be good. Why can't he just fly over? anime fly over to the door. Yeah, you can only do that when the plot needs you to do that, but also... He's not angry enough. Treasure princess. I'm looking for someone who would go on treasure hunts with me. Move to spam. <laughs> I 
Then please explain why Sephiroth is helping Zack. Well, they're both members of Shinra. I know Sephiroth is... If you only know a couple things about Final Action Fantasy VII, you probably know Sephiroth is a villain. Right? And you probably know Cloud is the hero. And who, who's Zack? Why does he have Cloud's clothing? Well, you see, Zack is a big Cloud fan and wants to roleplay as him. So he actually broke into Cloud's house at the beginning of the game, stole the clothing, and is wearing them. He didn't wash them either. He said he didn't want to wash them. So he's wearing Cloud's clothes. And him and Sephiroth are Sundare for each other. And so they're just chilling and, like, helping each other out on secret missions. Oh, you want the real information on why that's happening. Okay. Well, this is a prequel to Final Fantasy VII, and uh, they are both a part of the soldier program, which are like super soldiers. And so they're on the same side. And um, they're working for Shinra, which is basically... Exxon? Uh, but, but Exxon, Coca-Cola... A government all wrapped up into one. Conflict resolved. Cyberpunk Megacore. So yeah, that, that describes it. And um Yeah, so they're on the same team. It's not until Final Fantasy VII that you really start to understand why Sephiroth kinda I mean, I think it goes over it in this game, too. I'm pretty sure it does. Like, especially, like, the end of it. But, um... You find out a whole lot more about why Sephiroth ended up becoming Evil Man. Rather than just, like, I'm working for this company. So. How does this connect to Final Fantasy VI? Moogle? Tragic story for Sefi. Well, without spoiling it, I think Final Fantasy VII, as overrated as some people make it out to be, at, at its core, I think it is a very good game. And there's a lot of interesting story elements. Maybe I just like it so much because I played it when I was a kid, but I don't want to like spoil it completely because there's some, you know, there's some cool stuff. But I, I think Sephiroth is kind of a tragic villain, in a way. It doesn't really justify a lot of his actions, but there is definitely a tragedy aspect to his entire existence. And... You know, it sets the ball in motion. And, um, there's a lot of blame to be shared with Shinra. So... I mean, at its core, the, stor the story of Final Fantasy VII is actually kind of an environmentalist thing. Cloud, they're sucking the planet of all of its life, Cloud. Oh, yeah. You know. And then Barrett's like, there ain't no getting off this train we on. And I'm like, fuck yeah, Barrett. Like, I would follow Barrett to the ends of the Earth. Wait, where's Sephiroth? How do I get to him? Uh, I think I went down... Did I just go the wrong way? Vinny, did you watch Spirits Within? I watched it when it first hit HBO, and I liked it. And then I watched it again a couple years later, and I was like, wow, this movie is a huge piece of dong.
I think there's cool stuff in it. Also, I think Sephiroth is over there. No, it's really not, like, the worst movie ever. It's just for how expensive it was to make and how uncanny the characters are. Like, there's a lot of uncanny valley in that 3D, and they promoted it as being, like, photorealistic 3D graphics. And it's campy and silly as fuck. But yet, from what I remember, um, there was some cool stuff in it. I think Steve Buscemi was a voice actor in it. It doesn't feel like Final Fantasy, but I mean... I, honestly, the fact that this is considered Final Fantasy, when you look at the series' roots, you can see how far this thing spans. Like, when I look at Final Fantasy XV and a bunch of clouds with black hair in a car, I'm like, that doesn't look like Final Fantasy. But then, you compare this to Castles and Moogles, and you're like, oh... Uh, never mind. Good work. How wretched. Hm, if only you knew. The Ancients Project outline, it is now undisputed fact that the life form evacuated from the Earth is indeed of the ancient race spoken of in legend. Furthermore, history records with these that these ancient channeled bleep, furthermore, history records that these ancients channeled the power of this planet to tear the earth asunder. History records records English. Using the cells of the unearthed ancient, we have begun research on creating and mass producing a race with comparable abilities. The primary objective of this research is to significantly reduce Mako excavation costs. I still say Mako. Like the shark. It's a wonder I made it through that Did You Know gaming script. Seriously. As long as I take my time, I can usually do it. I can read generally okay. This where they make the copies? These are highly classified research documents taken from the science department. Project G, Degradation, and Ancients. Hmm. I'm a cartoon G. You should take hey. a look. The heightened abilities of soldier members are maintained by a delicate balance of various genetic factors. A change in this balance could only be caused by a leak of genetic information, but this is not possible under normal circumstances. This phenomenon is unique to the soldier type G. I'm getting woozy. It was shortly before Genesis left. The wound was superficial. But for some reason, Genesis wasn't healing. The man who treated him was... Hollander. Professor Hollander, how is Genesis? The problem is the Mako energy that seeped in through the wound. Oh, yes. Is it treatable? This is my actual voice. First, he'll need a transfusion. Read her voice. You aren't viable. Yeah, dick. Wait, how'd you turn Why into a ghost? I be the donor? See, Sephiroth has feelings. He's also got titty cleavage. A soldier. Type G. He's a cartoon G. 
Hang on. I gotta do that better. He's a cop dude, G. Hey! These are highly classified research documents, taken from the science department. Project G, degradation, and ancients. Hmm. Interesting. You should take a look. These are highly classified. Broad. Hmm. Did we not just do this? Oh, this one. Objective, implant the cells of an ancient into a human fetus to imbue said fetus with the ancient's abilities. Oh, yes! <sighs> He's getting weak. It was Hollander's experiment. The result was a normal child, which meant he failed. However... Project G gave birth to the man we know as Genesis. Project G. Project Genesis. Contrary to this report, Genesis showed clear signs of change. Degrading? Yeah, that's when Peter Gabriel left and then Not Bill Collins that. became the singer. Copies? Hmm. Abominations. S Sephiroth. Ah, yes. Hollander, I thought I'd find you here. You want to do something to me, eh? But then, get that titty cleavage out. Genesis and Angeal's degradation. What do you think that wing smells like? Genesis. Could you imagine Square watching this stream? You know, like, we gave this guy a key, we should watch Hollander. and see how, like... Zack, go. Yeah. Like, is our investment in this dude sending him a jacket and the game code worth it? And then they, they watch and they hear all this titty there cleavage no and, like, smelly wings? Only joy, for wow. you are beloved by the goddess. Hero of the dawn, healer of worlds. Loveless again, you never change. Three friends go into battle. One is captured. One flies away. There's the only one, one play in this entire universe. Becomes a hero. A common story. If we were to enact it, would I be the one to play the hero? Or would you? It's all yours. Indeed. After all, your glory should have been mine. How petty. In hindsight, perhaps. Now what I want most is the gift of the goddess. G Fuel. <laughs> you won't get away. Where is Aunt Jill? Tell me! In Klingon culture, the only way you can prove your honor is to die. <laughs> Sir, I have stubbed my toe. Therefore, I have lost. Mondo honor. Oh, Mr. Wolf, what, you would, what would you like to do about this? Sir, I must be, I must be killed. Brace yourself! Here we go! Go! Oh, yeah. I like this bit. Yeah, this is my favorite bit. Worf does one 
like, minorly dishonorable thing, and then he asks the captain to ritualistically help him commit suicide. Which is not far off from an actual episode of Star Trek. Training hard, I hope. It was Riker. It you was Riker. Correct. It. Leveled up too. All right. Let's see the results. There, your data from last month. All right. Bring it. Me from last month. Ah! Didn't we see no this already? Nothing else out there. Bring out the big guns. Prove your honor to me. I got it. Don't you cry for me. Oh yeah. I can't I can't get that song out of my head. Um, Vinny, what's a good season to start with Star Trek? Um episode guide for seasons one to two of TNG. Look it up online, type episode guide, and then uh, start then watch all of the rest. Have fun. Some music a little loud, chat. Do a little bit of that. Did Final Fantasy VII really need a spin off like this one? Says a chat member. Did it need a Vincent van Gogh shooting game where you shoot paint all over a canvas and try to create common scenes from Final Fantasy VII? No, it didn't. Why the fuck is a slot machine rolling 24-7 during combat? Well, chat member, what you don't realize is that you actually have to pay real money to start rolling that machine. I've paid at least $300 since I started playing this game. It's cool because with enough money that you spy, uh, spend on Shinra bucks, if you get good rolls, you actually like get uh, limit breaks and stuff. And it, it makes the game a little bit easier. It's really cool. All right. I'm never gonna get a free thing from Square ever again after this. Ever. Prove your honor to me. I got it. Please note, this is a joke. Please note, this is a joke. Vinny, you think they're watching? Honestly, no, but when years ago I got a game that was very glitchy, and I made fun of it. And Apparently, they were watching then. <laughs> I mean, I, they didn't, like, try to take my videos down or sue me or anything. I, they just never contacted me again. Which is why I'm glad they're outsourcing to a PR firm. To be fair, the person who was in touch with me about, like, giving me a code and, and uh, some merch was very, very nice. So, I consider myself grateful. Brace yourself! Here we go! Go, go, go! Skinny little, skinny little, I, 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 I. Vinny, you're the top streamer for this game at the moment. I guarantee they are watching. Oh boy. 
<laughs> hey, Square. I, I like your games. I like Live Alive. I, I didn't like that my last two videos were actually blocked on YouTube because of the song at the end there, you know. But, um... Uh, otherwise, yeah, I grew up playing your video games, and I, I certainly enjoy them. Better run for it! <laughs> Though credit where credit is due, also, Live Alive was awesome. Even though I was upset about those last two videos, I, I thought Live Alive was a great remake. So... Maybe their best one. Maybe their best one. And I like Trials of Mana well enough. Trials of Mana was fun. It was pretty good. This is also good, but fucking Live Alive was dope. Here, chat. Take a look at this. You probably have seen this already, but look. Not... This isn't a brag. It's really nice, by the way. Those are some really impressive numbers. Look at those M's and K's. Amazing. That really improves my, um... My self-esteem and my happiness as a human. Uh, but look at the bottom. Games and demos, Elden Ring and Live Alive. You know what the funny thing is about Live uh, Elden Ring? I didn't even stream Elden Ring all that much. I mainly played it pre-recorded. And Mario and Rabbids made its way up there too. Did that count VODs, too? I think it does. I think it does. I don't remember. Um, were the Elden Ring VODs still being played pre-recorded? Prove your honor to me. They were? Okay, because I don't even... I don't remember 100% when we stopped doing that. But all I know is it was confusing people, and it was hell for uh, chat numbers. Which is not the biggest problem on the planet, but I figured... Well, fuck, why... why do this when I could just stream a couple days a week and... You know, people can watch the pre-recorded stuff on YouTube. It just makes more sense. People were like, I don't get it, is Vinny live? Like, every day. <laughs> it's like, oh, I don't want to watch... I don't want to watch something pre-recorded. So, whatever. It worked out for the best. I'm enjoying the fact that I get uh, to do some pre-recorded stuff. It's like a different style of me playing a game, you know? It's a little more chill. And I get to check out different things that I might normally not play. So, I can do six hour Against the Storm videos. It's pretty cool. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When's more against the storm? Um, probably the weekend, I think. I got two parts of it. I got a good three hours of against the storm on the way. Some good ones, too. Like, really good ones. I played Big Run. Yeah, Big Run's recorded. Someone said, I still don't know how many... how so many people were confused by the concept of a VOD premiere. I don't know either, but they were. Either they were confused about it, or they just didn't want to watch pre-recorded stuff. They wanted to watch live stuff, and the pre-recorded stuff was a bit of a turn-off. And it's like, I can understand that. Slots just permanently leveled your character. That's incredible. They do that. They do indeed do that. Um, there's a secret leveling up system. Your experience is tallied, but the, you don't know what it is. And so you only level up when the slots level you up. 
but when you hit that magic number so that you're supposed to hit the next level, the slots do it. It's dumb. It makes no sense. I don't get it. Is this the end? No, not if I can help it. Who came up with these clown mechanics? John Bobo, the trauma clown. Conflict resolved. Yeah. Activating combat mode. Out of the way. I mean, that said, the combat is fun. Like, the slot machines don't get in the way of the battle system as much as it did in the PSP version, and there is, like, a heft to the combat. So, I don't mind the slots too much. I tend to just ignore them until it's something happens that I can press the button. Um, you, the viewer, are probably looking at the slots a whole lot more than I am. Jump. Enables aerial attacks. Try it for a bit. Wait, did Hollander have gray hair for a second there? That looked like a different ass dude. Was he always gray? Because I remember in the earlier cutscene, I thought he had, like, black hair. Did he just age, like, 20 years in the past couple minutes? No, right? Like, I'm, I'm, I am, it is I who is insane. You're in for it now. There's just bad lighting. Oh. We are getting a lot of good slots, chat. We just got two fucking summons in a row. Hell yeah, slot machines. I love them now. Do you understand what you're doing? Do you understand life? Working for Hollander now? What is it you're after? World domination. Like That's his voice funny, man. sounds different. About revenge. What? For what? And deal! Uh. 
I've become a monster. <laughs> a monster's objective is usually world domination or revenge. Spell it out, buddy. You're wrong. Those aren't the wings of a monster. Well then, what the are the wings they? of an angel? Angel's wings. <laughs> <laughs> Fight for Zack. <clears throat> what do angels dream of? Uh, uh, huh. <laughs> oh, what am I fighting for? Angel. Angels dream of one thing. Please tell me. They could have done a rewrite. They really could have just done a rewrite. <laughs> Punches him in the gut. <laughs> wow! I love this game. <laughs> uh. Defend yourself. Yeah, I'm with the chat members that are saying uh, that they're happy it didn't get a rewrite. It's so much better this way. Well, that's the title screen, everybody. The tutorial is over now. Kus, Kus, Sephiroth, in the Mom? pot. I, I want to help out a friend. I want to do a couscous recipe at, to the theme of Sephiroth music. Do it. Hello, Mom. Dilly dally, shilly shally, Zach, wake up. Good Hello? morning, Chrono. Heaven? Not quite. It's a church. Hey. Hmm? Everybody falling in on church. Aerith's church. No, I'm Aerith. You fell from the sky. Huh? They're scared me. Just stop paying for roof repairs. So you saved me, huh? Not really. Hello. That's all I did. <laughs> he had to expose the buttock Thank for a so moment. Much, show her how toned it was. I'm Zach. I have to repay you somehow. Don't worry about it. No, no. Hmm. Aha. Hey, how about one date? What is that? I should have did the Always fart so with it. reverb when he was uh, doing that. Stop. Don't step on the flowers. Too late. Excuse me? Normally, people are more careful with flowers. Well, I guess I'm not normal. Oh. You don't see a lot of flowers in Midgar. They're like luxury items around here. They only grow here. Although, I planted some outside my house, too. <laughs> if I were you, I'd sell them. Hmm? Midgar is full of flowers. Your wallet's full of money. Midgar full of flowers. Wallet <laughs> full of money? Never thought of it that way. Very simple formula, but very effective. <laughs> you meet Aerith and then you unlock a limit break. The exit? That door. Going already? Then look at the flowers a little more.
Someone said, I wish... I wish they had a little bit better chemistry. I mean, it's also possible that they recorded remotely and... There, it was like a rush job, or... I don't... I don't know. I mean... Are you always Inexperienced here? VAs, who yeah. knows. So, where are you going? Hmm. Also, this script... I'll take you. Where? Hmm. Dunno. You just want to spend more time with me. <laughs> Someone said lines were recorded alphabetically. <laughs> yeah. Huh? What? We're under the plate, right? Sector 5. The slums. Yeah. Main Street's over that way. There's lots of people. And you can go above. Ah. Well, I should be good once I make it there. All right? Lead the way. No time to dilly-dally. Okay, let's go. While not as impressive as Final Fantasy VII Remake, of course. Still looks pretty good. And the uh, skybox is very much still a JPEG. Yeah, garbage, 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 church, garbage, garbage, garbage. I didn't want to make fun of Aerith's church. I was going to, but I didn't want to. missions Can you do missions from here? No, right? Hey, it's still You think? There we go. Zach, let's run! Don't worry about it. I'll protect you. I've got this. You've got this? Oh, yeah. Stay back, okay? Activating combat ah. mode. I mean, I know Midgar is a dangerous place, but there's just like a bunch of people trying to live their lives while these fucking things are just running about. At all times, a dangerous fire frog could jump you. What a shame. So strong. <laughs> strong. Like a monster, right? Zach, what's wrong? Nothing. Now, let's move. I don't know. I don't know either, chat. Hey, I looked good, right? Zach, please. What? Me? Gungaga. Me? Gungaga. Me? 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 Gungaga. 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 All right, Zach. Let's go. Me? 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 Gungaga. Me? Gungaga. Me? Gungaga. Me? Gungaga. People who come from the slums. They fall into one of two categories. They either hate Shinra, or they idolize it. I'm the latter. One day, I'll find me a Shinra executive and live the good life. Yeah, you get in there. Hey, wait! Zach? 
So, here we are. Yep. Hmm. Something wrong? The slums look just like any other town. <laughs> of course. Lots of people live here. Hey, inside that gate, there's a market. There's so many great shops there. It's kind of stuffy here. You okay? So, so why does Aerith only like fucking idiots? <laughs> oh, I know why. <laughs> There's no sky here. Uh, we don't need this sky. You're under this plate all the time. You normally miss seeing the sky, no? Sorry, I'm not normal. How's that? The sky frightens me, like it's sucking me in. Weird, right? Normal is overrated. Okay. You think so? I know. One day, I'll show you a pretty sky. Once again, chat, this dialogue is not generated by an AI. It won't be scary. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Mm. Hey, wait! What? Ah! Looks like an interesting huh. place. Where's the general? Yeah. And this guy are sick. Wanna take a look? Oh! Oh, sorry. Be careful, huh? Okay. Sorry again. Man, that hurts. Huh? Your wallet's gone. Wait. What the? What's wrong? My wallet's gone. <gasps> oh no. Ah. <sighs> 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 That little brat! He just stole my wallet! Aerith, wait here, okay? I'm gonna go catch that kid and get my wallet back! Bruno's his name. Bruno? You know his name? Yeah. I gotta know. throw him in a trash compactor just after that. Him. He doesn't do things like that. Clearly, clearly like, just did. If he really stole from you, I'm sure he had good reason. Hey, pop rocks. I'll go look for him. Pop rocks. Zach, you wait here. I like the pop, pop rocks. Mm. All right, I'll wait here. But I'm pretty antsy. Yeah, I know. She that takes every is. idiot that falls through her church <laughs> to this area to get robbed by Bruno, and then she disappears. Theft it's just like theft. himbos no dropping the through the roof one after another. Scolding. Proof of himbo uh, right here. That's it. It's my wallet that was stolen. I'm gonna look for Bruno too. I think he went that way. If you need materia, you've come to the right place. Everything from top of the line to cheap junk. This kind of looks like a character from Choo Choo Charles. But that is the most detailed hair. Look at look how detailed that is. When you really get in there, you can see the Brillo. Like that's a crazy amount of detail for something you, that you don't really see when you're up close even. I am a carpenter that travels all over the world. Okay. 
Anything from gifts for your loved ones to common everyday use items. If you need accessories, get them right here. But I can't actually if buy anything. Germa? Chat? Ch ch chat? Is, is that fucking Germa? Because to me, that kind of looks a little bit like Germa. <laughs> Here we go again, chat. Here we go again. Another Germa has entered the ring. Hey, mister. You look pretty busy. Welcome, shopper, to the item shop. You, you! Oh, no, never mind. I'm just a Shinra trooper on patrol. Okay. What, a kid? Nobody's gone through these gates in a while. We're still setting up the number guessing game. Definitely. We're still setting up the number guessing game. Definitely voiced by an actual... <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's an adult... Woman, child. Very nice. Okay, cool. Uh, this exit leads to the path to. Did he go out from here? Hey, you there? Yes, Did, uh, I am. I am a human. Very human. A little boy. A little boy. Don't know. Although, children never come this way. I see. Got your pocket pick, did you? Uh huh? Uh huh? Happens all the time here. But you're gonna have a hard time finding the thief on your own. Ask folks around here nicely, and they might help you. Yeah, that's a good point. Right. I'll ask around here, for starters. I kind of asked he didn't go Oh. Wait, who's he saying that to? Himself or the player? Hey there. I'm looking for someone. A little boy named Bruno. Yeah, I know Bruno. You must want to find him badly. I'll bring him here for you, okay? You will? Yeah, stay right here. <laughs> All right, I'll be waiting. Just busy work. Hmm. Do you think if we keep waiting, the camera will pan through the wall? I absolutely do not have the patience to oh, find it. out. How far did she have to go? Huh? Hey! That's the kid who took... They're in cahoots. Oh, no. You talk too soon. <laughs> you know, I was just about to catch him. Weren't you trying to help him get away? No, I wasn't. That's so mean. <laughs> Yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> Zach! Hey, Aerith. Did you find him yet? Not yet, but give me time, please. Very human. Clearly he's in this pile of trash buildings in the middle. Germa, did you see which way he went? Excuse me. Hello? Welcome. What do you need? What do you need? Uh, no, I'm not shopping. All right. I'm looking for a kid named Bruno who took my wallet. Maybe you've seen him around? He, 
He looks like this. Never seen him, but I'll keep an eye out. You're just, the man. Thanks. Just stare into each other's eyes for a short time. Where did he go? There he is. Hey, mister. Dumb. That's him. Get him. Whoa, whoa. This kid's pretty fast. Hey, what's the deal? Uh, he's gone. Yeah, sorry. I'm really not that quick on my feet. You had no intention of chasing him. No, that's not true at all. Come on, man. <laughs> I wonder if Aerith is still looking. All by herself. All of this ends with, come on, man. You, you, oh. Hey, excuse me. I'm looking for a little boy named Bruno. Summon Bahamut to destroy the child. Destroy the He looks like this. Destroy the child. I've seen. Wait, I did see him. Really? That way, I think. That way? Yes, yes, way down there. Great, thanks. D hey! Wait! He's over by you! Oh my god. This is the He's stuff gone. I blocked out of my memory when thinking hey, about lady, Crisis Core. What gives? <laughs> I didn't mean to trick you. I just have really bad eyesight. Come on, man. Oh, I see. I'll come back. Hmm? Hey, Aerith. Come on, man. Yeah. Did you find him yet? Um, no. But give me more time. I'll find him. Still waiting. Yeah. Oh. Aerith, how goes? Yeah, no, this is all ah. vital. I agree. There's no need to look so worried. It's just bad luck. Hey, why don't we look together? Uh, but... Don't worry about it. I'm not gonna yell at him straight from the top. I'll ask him why he did it. And I'll forgive him if it was for a good reason. Really? <laughs> yes, really. Definitely won't okay. cast fire. Let's go look. Yeah. But we still have no leads. If Bruno needed money, he should still be around here. Yeah. Hey, Bruno, why'd you then steal my wallet? You stay here and keep an eye out. I'll go take a look around town. Well, let's try that. I, okay? I needed um, money for bread. Bread, bread. I need to eat bread. Hungry, cold, hungry. You know. Bruno, I understand. You could have just asked me and I would have given you some money from my wallet. Thunder! Aha! I found you! Uh. Whoa! Okay. No more running. Finally! All right. You know what you did was bad, don't you? You should never steal from people. Zack? <laughs> Wait, uh, no? Because it's very, very wrong. Now, tell me why you did it. None of your business. Why you... <laughs> Thunder! Bruno, did you really steal? Yes. I see. So, why did you do that? <laughs> you know, Aerith believed in you. No matter what I said, she insisted you're a good boy. You can shut me out, but tell Aerith the truth. Do you need money? Tell me why. Pokemon cards? I need medicine, but my wallet 
was eaten by a monster. Yeah, okay, like your homework was eaten by the dog, sure. That's why I took this guy's wallet. I thought, if he's your friend, he might give me a break. Bruno. This Actual child voice actor, by the way, not like the other one. Don't do it again. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Now we're friends again. Thunder. Zach, you agree? <laughs> you believe in him, so yes. Thank you. I'm sorry. But you need medicine, right? Yeah. It's for my grandpa. Really? Yeah, I'll kill Leave the monster. It but it's dangerous. Don't you worry. Monsters around here are cake. They're caked. Okay, but I'm going to. No, it'll be fine. Just let me handle it. Yeah, where are the Stay plot here. the plot ghosts? Wait with Bruno. The question. monsters should still be on the path that goes to the park, I think. Here. Take back your wallet. I think you're gonna need it. Me? No bunga. Um, the park is this way. Hey, you! Get back inside the gate now! Hmm? Monsters! Coming out of the park in droves! The park? All right. That's I believe be this, there. man. It's not all right! Everyone's fled! It's dangerous. You have to turn back now. Wasn't Sorry, a lot of this just text? They owe me some money. So Which, maybe it plays a little bit better in your head when it's text. What the hell are you talking about, guy? Relax, relax. Guy? Don't worry about me. You know, you should get behind that gate yourself. Here we go. This is them. Bruno they are caked. Oh, man. Yo, if you, you, you can kill one of these and defang it and use it as like a sleeping bag or something. One wallet. Is the money still inside? Whoa! That's <laughs> way more than I have. Top 1% vine sauce chatter here. Whoa, this man reviles me. Amazing! Ugh, Can't believe Colostomy so Bagel is a top 1% ch chatter. Complaining. At least you got it back. Zach, were you okay? No problem at all. Piece of cake. Thanks a lot, mister. Yeah, cake. Yeah, the you should have seen the monster. Call me Zach. If you need more help, just ask. You don't need to steal anymore. Hmm. Thanks, but... You it don't need to steal anymore. Than me. <sighs> well, maybe so. But hey, just you wait. Aerith and I, we're gonna make a fortune. Huh? Joel, you We're missed the best scene. Operation Midgar full of flowers, wallet full of money. If you think <laughs> this is fun, you should have seen the scene with Angeal. Midgar full of flowers. Can and someone get the clip for Joel of, of Angeal saying the there, thing? Because it's really good. Yeah, for real. That's why, if you're in trouble, we can help you. All right, I'll come talk to you. Okay, Mister Aerith, thanks. Hey, Zach, did you mean it? Selling the flowers? Of course. There's no turning back after this. I know. Let's make a wagon. A wagon? <laughs> yes, a flower wagon. Oh, God. With yeah, a wagon I, I blocked out flowers, all of this. You could sell them all over Midgar. <sighs> oh, not feeling it? No, no, it's great. Let's do it. No, I'm really, I'm really feeling it.
I do have to go kind of soon, chat. I got like another 15 minutes. Let's see if we can build the, uh, the wagon. You know, you know what kind oh, of, uh, wagon Aerith. we're gonna be building, right? Here with your boyfriend today? Mm -mm. I just met him. Hey, weren't you chasing a kid around here earlier? I heard about you from the local townsfolk. I thought you were some shady outsider, but it looks like you're a decent guy. I thought Sorry you were scum. I misjudged you. Here. Take this olive branch. That's not even an olive branch. I have to say, though. Eric, Thanks, though, Germa. You found yourself a pretty nice fella. No, no. Not a boyfriend. I just met him today. Oh, wait. Could we take a look? Huh? You came out to go shopping? Okay. Forget it. Uh, 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 no, no. I'm joking. Go take a look. Thank you. Just a look. I'll be quick. It's like if you interrupt Marl when she's at the Millennial Fair, trying like to buy candy, the then you get like put yeah. on trial later and put it's to fun. death by the Just Chancellor. Looking. Hey, Aerith. Uh-huh. To pay you back for that, hello, I'll buy you something. <laughs> Amateur brain surgery. Your offer was one date, no? It's the smog in Midgar. Said, Don't be silly. It's Remember? microplastics in the air. Well, I... It's microplastics, asbestos, okay. and lead. A memento for today. You mean it? Of course. <laughs> okay. Microplastics, that's good. All right, it's yours. Hold on. How's that? Does it look right? Uh, I think so. Yeah, it looks great. <sighs> Thank nope. you, Zach. Sorry. I'll treasure this. Yeah. Hey, do you still have time? This game so. has Getty Why? image watermark on one of the paintings. The what? Hey, that sounds like a date. Yeah. The original ribbon chat. This is the moment when the people like myself who grew up with this game are supposed to have nerd tears. Come on, let's go. I gotta see this. Hang on, chat, before we continue. So, ever meet any soldier members? I'll show you in a bit. Maybe. Fucking Fortnite notifications. Get out of here! What do you mean? Heroes to children. Protectors of the peace. But... I got emotional when I saw Cat Slide. They Cat Slide's the best of part of this game. Surgery. Don't they? So they say. Normal is best. I think so. At least. Those soldier people are kind of... Weird. Weird. Yeah, weird. They're... Weird, huh? And they're... Scary. They fight. And they love it. They need more cat slide. Actually... I'm with Soldier. Oh, you dumbass. I'm sorry. So pretty. The face? <laughs> the eyes. You like them? Then take a closer look. Eyes infused with Mako energy. Poison. A soldier trademark. It's poison. Oh, you. <laughs> Color of the sky, right? Doesn't uh -huh. the sky make her sick? But oh. Not scary at all. Oh God. I'll admit, things haven't been normal at all lately. What about you, Aerith? How's your life going? <laughs> I was thinking it would be a normal day. But then suddenly, 
some guy fell out of the sky. That's not all that bad. Who? Which guy? <laughs> Blonde guy? Brown hair guy? Black hair guy? Jack, return to the Shinra building now. Genesis has attacked us. It's raining, man. I'm on my way. I'm sorry, but duty calls. All right, Zach. If you need to well, use the bathroom, I you can just go. Going, then. You can poop in the cat slide if you want. Will I see you again? Of course. I hope that your friend's okay, Zach. Huh? You talk in your sleep. Yeah. It'll be fine. I know that now. I'm crying right to now, Chad. The Shinra building. I have to go through the market, they said. Yes, cat slide. Yes, it's as beautiful as ever. Remember when it gets nuked? I kind of feel like this is a really easy way to die. Like, if you climb up these right here. Because they look slippery. You can't get a good foothold. And then you get to the top, and it's just round. So why would you even offer the option for people to climb to the top? Because they're just going to fall off and, and pass. To the Shadow Realm, and then they become plot ghosts. Only the strong kids survive. Well, this is Midgar after all, so I guess... Yeah, the... The kids are going to be forged in the fires of the bowels of Midgar. Here, look, chat. So here's the image. Here's the painting, right? What's that? Is that a... No, that doesn't... That's just part of the art. That's just part of the art, chat. Getty Images... That's the name of the uh, artist. His name was Getty uh, Images, and he signed it. I have no nostalgia for Final Fantasy VII. Can you sum summarize the whole franchise's story in five to six words, and when does the green penis on wheels show up? Huh. Looks like we've got... Green penis on wheels. Green penis on wheels. Uh, is that... Oh, that's Persona or Shin Megami Tensei. Okay. Here I am, like, is that, like, is he talking about Cactor? Or, like, Demon House? Or whatever? I can sum up Final Fantasy. Random battles. Emotional storytelling. Banger music. Six words. If I could add another one, nonsensical. It used to be castles, chocobos, moogles, and hedgehogs, but these days it's a little different. Magic crystals. Yeah, there's not really a whole lot of magic crystals. The only crystals in Midgar are the ones that go into Zack's lungs. Well, it's just asbestos. Yeah, it's like m like materia crystals that are just infused. Like the the Mako reactors are just pumping. They're just pumping. Oh, we can call forth Chocobo. We got to do some mission reward stuff here to do uh, to get Chocobo. But yeah, it's just like the smog is just full of micro materia. Suspicious male one. Maybe I should. What does that mean? Uh. How do I do that, chat? I want to do that real quick. Where where do I even unlock that?
Oh, it's a save point mission? Okay. Let me let me save real quick, because I gotta go soon. I can do one mission. Um I don't see it anywhere, chat. Huh? Do M1 to unlock M2. Oh. Activating combat mode. Once again, using the wrong stuff. You're in for it now. Here we go. Oh. go. Oh, okay, yeah. that was easy. Nothing. Nothing there, chat. <laughs> this is the tutorial. Yeah, it's the tutorial, but like, where's the mission to get the chocobo mode? I want to go chocobo mode. Look under all the categories. I don't know, dog. I don't know. Is it M84? Chocobo feather. Oh, okay. We're just now in the middle of a green field. I'm pretty sure um, what's calm and the chocobo farm are not far from here. Oh, it literally is the chocobo farm. Okay. This whole game feels like a Japanese KFC tie-in game. <laughs> what? Activating combat mode. Well, we are nearing Christmas, and I'm... Am I mistaken, or is KFC really popular in Japan around Christmas time? Like, there's lines, and you have to reserve chicken. That's real, huh? Looks like that's the last of the monsters. Now, where's that treasure? Ah, found. It's just One. under a tree. The one treasures kept secret. Ugh. Two, to deliver dreams to her homeland. Uh. Three, make way, cause here she comes. Dear God. I'm treasure princess. Hear me roar. No. Hey, you're that weird kid I met in Wu Tai. What were you oh. expecting? You stole your perv. Oh shit! What? I'm no sucker, and I'm certainly no perv. My name is Zach. So, what are you lost or something? Oh my god! You want me to take you home? I'm not lost. I'm here to take your treasure, all of it, for the glory of Wu Tai. Get ready. Oh boy. Hey. Q Beavis going. Oh lost. god. Be honest. Wait. Joel, you joined at the right time. Did I do something wrong? Should I have humored her little game a bit more? Also, who the heck is she? Chocobo has been added. Oh yeah, there you go. Chocobo stomp. 
why precisely did I have to do this now? All right. Well, let's save here. Uh, thank you for watching, everybody. I'll check this out. Um, on a side note, at some point you will see the, the jacket and the, uh, the weird hidden gift that they sent me. I'll show it eventually, but, um, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. I don't know if I'm going to continue playing this game. I may, if, you know, if I'm feeling up to it. I, I, at the very least, enjoy watching chat's reaction to it, and I like playing the game. It's fun. But, God, how have I blocked so much of this out of my memory? It's insane! It's insane! Thank you for watching the stream. I'll check out this video. And uh, I'll see you all Thursday, more than likely. But I'll just take a quick look at this and see what this is all about right here. Faux American. 70s. And after a oh, few this dude. years, KFC for Christmas JJ McCullough. starts to get popular in Japan. And NHK, which is a national broadcaster, comes in to interview Mr. Okawara, and they want to know if KFC is an American Christmas tradition. You are selling Kentucky Fried Chicken so well in Christmas, and is the common custom in overseas? <laughs> and I would, ooh, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I know that people are not eating chicken, they're eating turkey. But I said, yes, <gasps> it was dry. <laughs> <laughs> I still regret that. I found a lot of Japanese people were quite shocked when I told them that no one in America actually eats fried chicken on Christmas, and that if <laughs> anything, eating fast food on Christmas would be considered a fairly trashy thing in America. That's amazing. He, the way he said that is like its own meme. That's so good. He doesn't regret it. You know why he doesn't regret it, right? Because cha-ching. Uh, all right, chat. Thank you. I appreciate you stopping by and spending some time watching some games. And uh, yeah, see you whenever. I don't know, a couple days. <laughs> it was a lie.